Fishing.com. If you've been following our posts, we just wrapped up our eight part HD bonefish fly tying series, and we're going to move on to some other patterns before I head out on that bonefish trip to Guadalupe with Water's Edge Media. Today, we're going to talk about stacking EP fibers in order to create sort of like a floating minnow pattern that's going to do really well. A big part of tying this fly is selecting your fibers in the right proportions and how you secure them to the hook shank. We're going to be using three different color fibers for this pattern. We're going to be using a tan color, a bait fish belly, and a chartreuse. And we're going to pull out a group of fibers of the tan and the bait fish belly that mirror each other in thickness. And you can see by these images just how those fibers are supposed to look as far as thickness. Now the tan one and the bait fish belly we pulled out that are slightly thinner than the other two. We want to cut those in half and we're going to be working with those halves to secure them to the hook shank. So the first step is to grab one of the halves of the tan EP fiber and tie it right on top of the hook shank right by the bend of the hook. After that we're going to flip the hook over, tie in half of the baitfish belly EP fiber that we had selected. And we want to split this around the hook. Then we're going to repeat those steps and tie in another one on top of the tan and another one on the bottom of the baitfish belly. Now at this point we got a bunch of fibers sticking out the back of the hook and you're probably saying Jesse this doesn't look right this is way too much fiber but trust me we're going to trim this down and make it look really, really good at the very end. So now with these other two stacks of fibers, we want to trim these into quarters and tie in quarter sections of each, the chartreuse and the baitfish belly. The first one we're going to select is the chartreuse color. We're going to tie it in right on top of the other fibers, but this time we're going to tie it in and try and mold it around the hook shank completely. So it's going in every different direction. Once it's secure, we're gonna bend those fibers backwards on themselves and secure it again. And we're gonna do this for every piece of fiber that we have left until we get to the eye of the hook. So we can grab the other piece of our bait fish belly, go ahead and tie that in and do the same steps. And we're just gonna keep repeating this until, like I said, we get to the eye of the hook. So now we got all these fibers stacked in here really, really tight, and the fly looks like crap. I know that. Now it's time to whip finish and go ahead and trim this fly down into a bait fish profile. So now we're going to trim it down, guys. We want to trim the tail section. We also want to trim all these fibers down and try and make the head as round and symmetric as possible, tapering off down the tail. After that, it's time to add our eyes. We can grab our holographic eyes and use our zap gel to secure these in place. 
And once those are secure, we can grab our Loon UV Thick and go ahead and cover up the thread wraps in order to make this fly extremely durable. Zap it with some UV light and that's all there is to this fly. So I hope you've enjoyed that guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and follow us on Facebook at Backwater Fly Fishing. And don't forget to hit us up on Instagram. This might be the last video that I do guys before I head off to Guadalupe. If so, thanks for all your support. Be sure to share this for you guys in your fly fishing groups. Uh, friends that like the tide, go ahead and shoot this video to them. We appreciate it all. Thanks a lot guys. Till next time.